All right, everybody, welcome back. I am just departing the pattern here. Actually, not departing the pattern, but on the departure lake. And I'm going to be showing you guys a power off 180 approach to a spot landing, all right? So this is emulating a, an engine out and your ability to land the aircraft at a point of your choosing. This is something you do on the commercial level. And it's actually a very good way to get to know your airplane. Home traffic two three and a form is right across on the downland runway four, Homer. Because you get to feel the energy of the airplanes. If you want to know what your airplane's capable of, just take it up for some power off 180 landings, and you'll get a feel for it. Okay. I want to stay in a little bit tighter. Again, this is why you don't do cross country patterns. All right. You stay closer to the airport. Descending into the traffic pattern, up the on a right downwind behind the Cessna. Okay, just getting everything set up here. So, anyone can do a really large pattern and take plenty of time and come in, but it's not practical. You know, it's not practical in the real world. You need to learn how to manage the energy of your airplane. If you're flying in the shorter strips, you're going to have to learn to do that. Okay, and especially, you know, if we had an issue, say we got carburetor ice. We can land on that runway. If I'm another mile that way, it's very unlikely, okay? So, I'm gonna pull the power to idle, simulating that engine out, a beam my touchdown point, it's gonna be the touchdown markers, and I'm gonna touch down the airplane in that area and talk you through what I'm thinking about as I'm going through this, okay? It's all about energy management. We make decisions on where we're heading, when to add the flaps, all those things, and that's how it works. Uh, I think it's even great to do these at the private pilot level, okay? So we're about there, we're all set up, car peat, gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop seatbelt switches. Okay, all good. Undercarriage is down a lot, okay. Alright, so here's our touchdown point. Power idle. Pitch for your best glide, which is 80. Former traffic, 2-3 and a 4, I'm simulated uh, power off runway 4, short of boat coming. And a 172 glides really well, all right? So look how lazy this pattern is right now. Look how far out I'm coming in, uh, how far out I am, all right? I'm gonna start turning in now. Better be a little higher than to be too low. You can't add any power. And two, three, and four, I'm on a modified base, the final runway four, Homer. I'm going to add that in a little high. Hotel, radio, is a inbound. Uh, they I'm going to add my last notch flaps to you. I'm pretty high. Yeah, that caravan now is entry on the uh, right down went for landing four. Okay, got the Cessna simulated power out on the uh, short final. And here I am. I'm just totally power idle. Still have my hand on the throttle though. I'm going to slip it just a little bit to get down. Won't have to do it for long. Okay, just enough to get me to that touchdown point. And we're coming in the ground effect. Need a little bit more help, a little bit more energy, and there we go. Touchdown right in the zone. And we are all set up, okay? So that is a power off approach to landing on a spot, power off 180. Homer traffic, two, three, and a four, I'm on the go, runway four, Homer. And I'll just stay in the pattern, okay? Empire, uh, you six, seven, six, six, caravan, turning a right base four. A little bit of aileron into the wind. A little bit of right rudder pressure to stay on center line. Okay, that's how you clean up for a, a go, or a, a touch and go, a go around. That's more of a stop and go. But just make sure everything's good to go before you take off, okay? Usually I like my students to finish what they're doing before they take off. Again, I don't want them to think about the next takeoff before they finish the last landing. Pattern, touch and go landing, she's on the upwind. Caravan, inbound for landing. I believe you see the on downwind or base for runway four. And additional traffic is a Cessna inbound, 60 foot rock about one minute ago. Did my copy. Yeah, it's a Cessna caravan there, the FedEx caravan. And turn it final four. All right, guys, a little bit of radio chatter there, but that is it for this video. 
I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed all these takeoff and landing videos. Make sure to share with your friends. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, and really appreciate you being here, especially you students of mine. Okay, until next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.